Hope everyone is having a great Thursday so far. Definitely is a great day in terms of weather. A lot of us actually saw temperatures here in Tuscaloosa in those 80s. 81 here actually for our high here in Tuscaloosa. Right now we're at 80 degrees uh, south wind, but that's going to change because we do have a cold front that is beginning to work its way into the southeast. You can definitely see it right over here actually coming in through uh, Mississippi right there. That's going to be pushing down towards Tuscaloosa coming in within the next at least few hours. And you definitely can't tell it right now though here a lot in the central part of Alabama. A lot of us still sitting in those 80s and 70s. But again, I'm going to go ahead and time that out right now. I can show you where that cold front will be pushing down into central Alabama come tonight. Look at this by 1030. We start to see some rain coming into the area. Maybe one or two spotty showers, but it's not going to be a whole widespread event. The bigger story again is those temperatures. So waking up tomorrow morning will be in those lower 50s for a lot of us, but quickly rebounding from that into the 60s. Not getting up any warmer though throughout your Friday, so definitely plan accordingly for that. But hey, these cold temperatures are actually going to help contribute to this, the changing of the lease over the next few weeks. This is a fall foliage prediction map. You can definitely see here from October 26th through November the 2nd is whenever we're expecting the peak fall foliage in central Alabama. It's going to make for a beautiful time. And again, these temperatures help contributing to that because look, we are actually seeing a lot of days where we're warm and cold and, and that change in temperature are, actually helps contribute to the changing in leaves. So there's your fun fact for the day. But again, for tomorrow, we'll be in those mid 60s, slowly warm back up for your Saturday and your Sunday, back into 80s. So definitely feeling like the time of year that we are in the middle of fall. What about precipitation though? Not going to see too much in the way of that. Maybe waking up tomorrow morning, a stray shower or two, but that won't last all throughout the day. And we start to see dry conditions through Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So really not going to even going to see too much of that either. But hey, Halloween is just around the corner. Look at this, 16 days away until we start to see, or until we get into Halloween. And then after that, just all the seasons come in at once. we got Thanksgiving and then Christmas. It just seems like it's just all coming up so fast. Which honestly is not a bad thing because uh, 2020 is almost over. So maybe we'll get through it. But hey, here's your seven-day forecast. You know, here's something to put a smile on your face. 2020 doesn't have to be bad after all, because look at the temperatures and the seven-day looking pretty nice. Having all those sun icons and temperatures back into the 80s by Sunday into Monday and a perfect game day forecast for your Saturday. So hopefully it all works out. Everyone has a great rest of your week. Have a great Friday, and we'll catch you back here at the news at 6 and 10.